online, you look much fatter. <laughs> that's what people say. Yeah, 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 you look that's right. What, that's what people want people to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, you look thicker. Had, like, you look a, thicker online. I had a podcast with Adam22, and he's like, oh. Oh, really? Uh, I'm like, what? No, because I thought you'd be... I'm like, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. And, like, bigger. Well, yeah, fatter. Patrice like. <laughs> <laughs> so diabetes. Yeah, diabetes. Yeah, diabetes. <laughs> you look great, bro. Right. Yeah. What well, that was does that sound sexual? Could be. No, Everything well, you say sounds sexual. <laughs> Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Everything I do, right? It Let's be sucks. honest. Let's be like honest. earlier today. I said, "I love, I love your eyes," and you're like, "That was offensive." He looked away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he knows. I like your goofy eyes. The, <laughs> the the Bobby gaze. Um, is there anything you don't want to talk about? Or? No, I'm cool. You are? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sound sexual again. <laughs> are you high at all or no? No, not at all. Should I be? No. We don't. Okay. Have, we don't get high. No, I want because you never you've never been on this podcast. I just want no, never been. I want you to make. I want you to be comfortable. I'm good. I'm so You're from New York, right, bro? No, I'm from Montreal. Born and raised. Did we not tell you you're from? You guys Montreal. live in Montreal now. No, we're. From, Where do you live now? Montreal. You live in Montreal now. Yeah, born and raised. And you don't live in New York. No, back you're Canadian. In Florida, yeah, Canadian. Right. Passport and everything. Abla. What's the, the little one? What's the little Abla? One? Abla. Abla. The little What's the little one? one? What's the little Abla? one? Whatever. Canada. The little one. Ethiopia. Yeah, he looks like it. <laughs> I start You're saying that because of the forehead. <laughs> yeah, but also the lips. Oh, Ethiopian lips. See, see. What do you mean? Is that racist? It's no sexual. <laughs> yeah. It is, it, it is sexual. actually not racist. Yeah, it's it's super I, yeah, sexual. that's the thing. It's I'm not racist. Stupid I'm, sexual. Yeah. No, because got. I, I don't want to. Uh, no, just say it. You're. you're <laughs> might as well. He just go. got Ethiopian lips. I don't know how to explain it after that. You like it? It's purple. Mm. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> like a vag. It's purple. Yeah, his he mouth is like a vag. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, go ahead. Five, four, three, two. Welcome. To another episode of Tiger Belly. I am the guy behind the fucking mic mm. with the fucking ideas, dude. All right. I have, um, my mind is um, Jedi like. It twists and turns in the wind. And uh, I get all kinds of guests on this podcast. Before we had the Logan Paul, <laughs> Logan Paul. Mm -hmm. He was pretty good. You know what I mean? But I got I, the second one that we're doing today, bringing heat, dog, <laughs> from Canada, brah. Right? What do we got in the room? We got white man over here. What's up, Bree? You good? Bree? What's his name? <laughs> Bryce. Bryce, that's right. Long dick, dude. Right? White and long. Longer than his. Right? This right here? It's fucking a disaster, dude. Your dick's high, though, huh? No? Okay. We got Gilbert right here? What's up? What's up? My ex? <laughs> of 10 years? <laughs> we fucked. We used to fuck? We used to. Yeah, we used to fuck. Right, and we what got from Montreal. We Ooh. got we got heat from Montreal. We got the other one is like looks sickly, but this one looks like funny. Good. <laughs> it's funny, good. It's funny, good. It's funny and good, man. And I don't know where he, where Abla is, but um, <laughs> Abla. I, I, you know where it's okay because he always keeps on fucking up people's names. He does. That's yeah. why I'm doing it. He so calls you Tom, He calls you Tommy Lee. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew that. I knew he called me Tommy Lee. Right. <laughs> He probably thinks I'm Ronnie Chang. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a good thing he thinks you're Tommy Lee because of the dick size. Oh, you mean the rocker Tommy yeah. Lee? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I just work with Brittany. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She talk, talked about his dick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, long, too. Like his. Anyway, we got um, Preach. Yeah. Me, Preach has a podcast with Abba. Yeah. Right? It's popular. It's all right. No, it's good. It's massive. It's massive. It's all right. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, you're massive, right? I'm all right. I mean, no, 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 no. What do I mean? Naked? Are you massive? Ooh. I don't know. I'm average. I think I'm average. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. I like your humility, dude. No, I like to be the underdog. That's why I unpack it. Bow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I bought some friends. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You always set the bar low. So whenever you go out, boom! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Are, are the. That's what it is. But yeah. Girls can read into that. 
They they think they do. No, because guys who are real modest and you're like always play it down are the guys. Yeah, yeah it's already it's a, it's a known fact. Yeah, yeah, but maybe but the guys that are like actually small know that, and now they're like. I'm going to play like that. Oh, that's a good And point. once you're in my bed, there's no... You know what I mean? <laughs> right, 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 right. I'm already here. Might as well yeah, hit it. You know, that's, that's, what I, that's so that's, true. That's, don't I... give away my secret, then. My bad. My that's bad. my fucking I'm edge. Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry, bro. I I've... claim big. <laughs> That is, that is true because I've been with a guy with a micro penis, and it's not like I walked out. Like I finished the job completely. <laughs> yeah. Finished the job. So Bobby, how was the relationship with that? <laughs> <laughs> bro, 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 bro. She gonna blast you? Is she gonna bro. blast you like that? Yeah, yeah, that was That's me. motherfucking disrespectful. Preach. That wasn't me, preach. Hey, hey, you could. Was could that me? Hey, you could say. Was that me? You could, you could say like that, like shaggy, shaggy. It wasn't me. <laughs> but we don't. Believe Leave you, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's small. No, it's average. Thank you. Yeah, it's very average. Yeah, a girl saw it last week. And what did she say? She rolled her eyes. Oh, in no. a what way? Yeah, because I in was. What, wait, wait, wait. In what way is it a good thing? <laughs> <laughs> in what we like? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> no, but, no, but no, but I. <laughs> when did that? Ugh, <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah. Thumbs up, bro, 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 bro. bro. Bro, fuck you know, fuck you, man. This is my podcast, man. But, hey, my bad. Let me explain myself. Dude. I have questions. I was back, bro. I was back. <laughs> I, have I was backing up what you were saying that it was too late at that point. But but then again, you gotta go in. You know, what I mean? went, she had to go in. Yeah, she's like yeah, I bro. bought dinner. Roll 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 <laughs> your right, eyes right, all you right, want. Right. I don't give a fuck. Roll your eyes all I'm you want. I'm coming in. You're gonna yum on this yeah, little pecker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I do a fucking honk. I go beep beep. Oh, I'm nice. coming in, dude. <clears throat> anyway, beep beep. You're coming in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beep beep. Yeah. So <laughs> preach. Can we get? Let's get real for a second. Yeah, let's get real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> uh, let's get real. <laughs> like that shit was not real. At all. <laughs> this shit yeah. right here, it just didn't happen yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, because I'm, what I want to say right now is he's bringing an energy that I don't think I'm prepared for. Oh, oh that's yeah. Montreal. I, I, no, I, Montreal. Uh, no, it's not just Montreal, dude. There's something else going on that I don't know if I'm prepared for right now. What do you mean? You know what I mean? It's just pretty good. It's high level shit. Ooh. Right. So I'm gonna bring it down. You can't bring it down. <laughs> I know, I know. Can I try? I took, I took two motherfucking planes to come here. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, did you really? You went to New York and then here? Uh, yeah, Newark. Yeah, New Jersey. New York, New Jersey. Yeah, came here. What are you in town for? You. Wow. No, yeah. you all the way to L.A. for fucking Tiger Bell. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. No, what else, bro? I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Are you oh being real? God. Came here for you, dude. What? Are you being real? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that makes me feel good. I don't yeah. think I don't believe him, yeah. but you don't have to believe. Set up some fact. meetings. You're in LA. No, I don't have set to, up some I fucking don't meetings. Have to set up meetings. If I want to go in on a podcast, I'm gonna go in for a podcast and then leave. That's it. Wow. Yeah. No lady in town or what? No, I got my lady at home. Oh, you got bitches at home, huh? Bitch. Oh, sorry, my bad. Singular. Yeah, yeah. You have one girl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, one bitch. One bitch. One. You have one bitch. My bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She seems nice. She nice. She nice. Yeah, yeah. Is she black or? She's Quebecer. Oh what? Yeah, Quebec. That's 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 Quebec. that's Canadian for white. Oh, she's white. Yeah, she's white. Oh, cool. Yeah. I well, like it depends. It. It's cool if you're <laughs> if you're not a black woman. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do Canadians feel about that? I mean, I feel I like they're more I, open. <laughs> huh? Are Canadians more open about? Jesus fucking Christ, no. They're not. Well, I mean, we're more open, yeah, but you know. I mean, you don't get like ridiculed or anything like that. No, right? I don't get ridiculed. No, no, ever. Only when I come here. Right, right, right. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't get ridiculed, but I hear shit. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. the girls, they think the, mm hmm, here you go, one of them black men taken by a white woman. I hear that shit. <laughs> yeah. When I go to New yeah. York, it's loud. They they do not hold back. But then again, I don't understand where it's from. I don't say shit. Like, I don't understand why it's happening, why they're saying that to me. Like, well, they're not saying that to me. Yeah. They're saying that to themselves. Acting like they said that under their breath, but it's really just to send a message. But anyways, I understand why they Bro, bro, I've been with white chicks, right? And people ridicule me as well. Tell them that story about when you were with um, Sarah in Hawaii. Yeah, I was this, with this blonde girl in mm -hmm. Hawaii. I was dating her for years, and these four frat dudes walk by, and out loud they go, he paid for her. You know what I mean? Like it was like a prostitute or something. And I turned around to say something, and then Sarah just grabbed my arm and she goes, come on, keep walking. You know what I mean? But it's like, I don't know, dude. I, that will always... It burned into my psyche forever. Yeah, yeah it made me so angry. It made me so angry. Yeah, it's like, bitch. First of all, dude, I'm funny as a motherfucker, right? Like, you can't do what I do, you fucking frat boy, <laughs> right? 
You drink beer. You're, you're going to wear a suit and tie and go to a fucking office job. But I sling heat on stage, dog. Ooh. Right? Well, what are you doing? Sling. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I rabbit fuck mm. like a fucking Japanese robot. Yum, yum. Let's go. You know what I mean? Yeah. I rabbit fuck like a motherfucker. Right? And I, I, why, I hold, wait, wait, wait. No. When you say right, why are you doing to him? Because <laughs> I feel so he's annoying. no. Because I think he's a yes man. Okay, <laughs> yeah, cool. he, I'm not going to him. Like, no, no. he always a yes. Every time you turn around to <laughs> him and you're like, right? I, I, <laughs> what I see, what I see is, <laughs> can I get a witness? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. That's what it is. <laughs> I need that. Right? I, I need him mean. to be right. right? Rabbit's that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get it, right? So you're yeah, actually there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, he wasn't there. He's not only you tape the podcast, but you tape other shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn. He's bro. in the closet. Yeah, yeah he's in yeah, the closet. Watching, you know what I mean? And watching. And you go, oh, you rabba cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's exactly. That, that's, you don't sound like that, but I'm just saying you do it to me. You rabba cool. Right? But anyway, um, <laughs> what, what's so funny? You good? Anyway, he wouldn't back me. My point is, is this, okay? <laughs> is that it makes me angry when white dudes, you know what I mean, when they did that. But but that was also 15 That's years good. ago. I don't think that would happen now. I think because because people know you. But if you go in another place where people know you less, you would get a comment like. But you think people. socially we haven't changed in that way, or no? You not think they much. still not that much? I don't give that much credit to human beings. All oh, right. <laughs> yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. 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 If you go to this is Europe. Right. When they don't really know that English side, right? They 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 would they would act like that. Definitely. Yeah. Wow. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucked up. I mean, what are we gonna do though? It is what it is. Yeah. You can't do nothing. Because at the end of the day, it's like what we're still doing it, mm. right? <laughs> still fucking. We're still winning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What you gonna do? Yeah. Pink pussy. Mm. We love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah Danny yeah. Brown said the same thing. Who did? Danny Brown, he was on uh, Andrew Schultz's. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We yeah. love it. So my yeah. point is, is that, yeah. but I love Asian pussy too. Don't Thank get me wrong, you. right? Thank I love you. like I like all pussy. Appreciate that. You know what I mean? Appreciate the shout out. <laughs> <laughs> the shout out. Very nice pussy. Right? <laughs> They're very nice. In history of shout outs, probably <laughs> the worst shout out yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you on your shout out to uh, Asian pussy. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. You guys, um, I have a house and I have beds, and the only comforters and sheets I use is Brooklyn because they're the best in the business. For those looking to earn host with the most status this year, yeah, Brooklyn has you covered from gifts for your guests to interior refreshes. They're the one-stop shop for stepping up any space. Brooklyn has literally won awards for the softest sheets you've ever felt. And the hits for home keep on coming. They go way beyond bedding, which is as good as you've heard, with an expanded collection of home fragrance, the coziest robes, and all the bathroom essentials to make an oasis right at home. Oh, their sheets are like sleeping on a cloud made of angel skin. Mm, that's um, nice. That's, you know, very difficult to get, you know, angel skin. You know what I mean? You have the kind of angel. But, like, if you don't want to do all that, get the Brooklyn sheets, and then you're going to be like, wow, this is really authentic. On top of all the coziness on the horizon, Brooklyn is offering something extra special for the first-time customers. Visit brooklyn.com today and save 15% on your first purchase plus free shipping. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com for 15% on your purchase plus free shipping. AG1 Athletics Greens. Greens. This is how I start my day. Can I tell you how I start my day, Bobby? I, I love to hear it. I get a cup of cold water. Uh-huh. I pour a scoop of athletic greens. I yeah. put a little bit of um, apple cider vinegar. Mm-hmm. And you know why I start my day this way? Why? Because I know I am taking in 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, <laughs> whole food source, superfoods, so probiotics, adaptogens. And then my day is set. It's so silly you say this, Kalila, because the thing is, is that we all start that that way because that's the best thing for your body. Duh. This is the best option for easy, optimal nutrition out there, you guys. This blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, all of the things, even aging. Yeah, what did I say always? Sustainable routines are key, right? I always say that. You always say that. AG1 <laughs> is my daily microhabitat that makes it easy to absorb key nut- nutrients leads a healthy lifestyle and, f- and to feel my best no matter what the day holds. One scoop, one minute, one a day, every day. And it's 
keto friendly. Yeah. It's vegan, yeah. dairy free. Uh-huh. It's taekwondo friendly. Taekwondo. It's taekwondo friendly. Guys, just look at Kalila's skin. Let's zoom up on that. Oh, boom. Lord. KG1. But right he's now, not wrong. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Green is going to give you a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash belly. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash belly to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. On your podcast, you guys talk about, I, this is what they told me. Yeah. Con- con- controversial things. Well, we just talk about things where we want to strike people. Like, give me, give, yeah, give me, to... give me a, a something that, and let's see if I have a point of view. Well, we here, want, we want an pe- example. Go ahead. Go ahead. I really liked what you guys had to say about the whole Wee Spa controversy. Yes. Because he's a big spa guy. I went yeah. there last night. Right. Well, you went to Wee? Yeah. So, Wee Spa, um, there was this whole debacle. I know. Oh, you heard about it? Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. So, so a, a trans um, woman I know. wanted to be, you know, and then the women were like, wait, it was we me. don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> That's no. just Bobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no. so, and then they were like, no, there are kids here and there are women, women here. We don't want to be like seeing mm-hmm. like a penis, like, you know. Okay, I just want to say this, okay? And then We Spot was like, no, we actually can't discriminate. And I'm like, they well, you know, around. women want to feel, feel safe as well. Like, yeah. I understand that y'all want to feel safe, but. Women want to feel safe. Like everybody should feel safe, but it's not at the detriment of other people. My argument though right. is this: is last night, even last night, I, I went there around eleven, and I I counted twelve kids there, mm-hmm. under the age of. Why are you counting kids? Yeah, don't count kids at a spa. <laughs> I, I, I'll tell you why. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Don't, John, you're laughing too loud at that, right? Because there's an explanation. I'll tell I'm you, not laughing, and it's as bad as if I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. There were just kids there. I wasn't counting them. Mm-hmm. There's probably two to ten. I don't know. Two to hundred. We don't know. We don't know, no. right? But the reason why I know there were kids there is because twenty-four is the number. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I know that is because um, the only place to sit is you know that le- the the um, co-op area mm. yeah. was right by. There's a um, what do you call it? A, a part where well, there's gymnasiums and things for kids to do. Right, mm-hmm. there's yeah. like the little library. Like a library thing, thing right? Computers. And, it, and I, I, I remember thinking like, wow, it's really late. I, like what parents are bringing their kids to a spa at 10 or 11 at night. Are but, they allowed? Yeah, they are allowed. Yeah. Then, then, then there's kids at the spa. Right, so my point though is, is that, you know, if there was, if I was a mother and I had two of my daughters in the spa, you're completely naked, and a man, wa- I, I mean, a woman walked in with a penis, I can see why that they would have a problem with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And after that, it was later found out that the person was actually uh, a predator. But Oh, oh really? No, really? Oh, I didn't know that. Wow. So your point of view was that's wrong, that she had to go in there. What, what is it? What's the point, point of view? I don't know what point your point of view was. that in the best of world, there would have to be bathrooms from everybody for everybody. Yes. But it's impossible. Yes. It's not possible. It's not possible. And I understand why trans people, no matter what the, uh, <clears throat> from, from which side you are, uh, non-binary man, woman, trans, you would feel unsafe in a certain environment. Right. But then again, you feeling safe cannot infringe on other people's safety or sentiment of safety. Right. So it's a whole ass conversation that we need to have about that. Yeah. And it was not so much like a closed, closed um, opinion. It was more of a, we need to talk about this shit. Yes. We need to, there's a bigger picture than, yes, everybody should feel in, you know, yeah, okay, but wait, wait. Yeah. You not put women aside? Yeah, 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 all right, all right, cool. You you have the right to compete in MMA. Mm-hmm. Yes. But you could kill motherfuckers. That's not the point. It's still a sport. Yeah. Okay, we're not doing gladiator shit, so... Uh, where they, there was, uh, I don't know what promotion there was, uh, a trans woman that compete with other women, and skull of women got fractured. All oh, right, yeah. So this is a conversation to have. That's another conversation, yeah. Yeah, and I think that it varies sport to sport, but that's a combat sport. That's a physical. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think. I actually don't think it varies sports to sports. You sport. don't think so? No, because whenever we say female, like whenever we say. Women's sport and man's sport, what we actually mean is female sport and male sport. 
At the end of the day, that's what it is. And the best, the best people to do sport will tell you. I remember one day, I thought it was John McEnroe. He said something about uh, Serena Williams being the best female tennis player. And everybody's like, no, she's the best fe- She's the best tennis player. And he was uh, under a bunch. Like, people came down. Yeah. Like, they came for him. You know what I mean? And then mm-hmm. Serena said it, said, 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 said it herself. She's like, if I compete against the, the, the guy that is listed 200, I'm going to lose in 15 minutes, 20. <laughs> yeah. Said. It's not the same sport. Wow. Like, the, the speed is not the same. Combat sport is the same. Well, tennis is the same. Hockey is the same. Mm-hmm. Do you know that women are allowed to play in the NBA? Really, they, they are. Yeah. yeah, there was one that was actually had a contract. I don't. I think her, her name was Lucy. You can look it up. Whatever. Yeah, you yeah. Can Google it. Lucy. She was actually inducted into the Hall of Fame, but she didn't play because she she she, she became pregnant. But she went. She was. She got a contract to play in the. Wow. And, and it I didn't never. Know that. And it never happened. Just it just because that time it never happened. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, you could play in the NBA. Why don't you do it? Because it's not the same thing at all. At yeah, all. yeah, that's it. But it's a conversation to have. Yeah. yeah. There's some things that I, I, I can disagree on, no matter what we're talking about, no matter yeah. what it is, whether yeah. it's uh, the, tran- the, the trans issue, the LGBTQ issues, or Black Lives Matter, or whatever. It's not because you disagree with one thing that I makes you the opposite and anti super extremist. Like, people need to chill. But then again, you know. It, it benefits certain people. It benefits people in the news. It benefits people uh, in a position of uh, power. It benefits them because if people are polarized, then it's easier to, you know, to do other things and, you know. No, I, it's just, it's so funny because even having this discussion right now is making me nervous. <laughs> no, it, 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 I'm being, I want to be completely honest with you. I'm mad. Because I have things that I believe in. That I can't say right now, right? Because I feel like I'm gonna get attacked. Well, and on top, to- and on top of that, you're a comedian. <laughs> yeah. So you're in a, like you're in the arts world, yeah. where it's super PC and super liberal, and you live in LA, super liberal, and and you. So so if you go against that, and on top of that is the world, it, 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 the, the the you know the, the, there's all those studios are right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, but it's like if I if I could let go of that dream, then I can say whatever I want to say. You know what I mean? But because I have... What's coming to mind right now? What do you feel... Well, I mean, just him talking, there's a certain th- beliefs that I have that I want to say that I can't say because I just know that it's not... It's going to go against... You know what I mean? But then again... Other I believe, Asians... I believe that you're like a... Also, in... If we take away like the fact that uh, the, the, the people, you're, you're watching everything and stuff, I believe that you as a person... I don't know you that much, but yeah. from what I understand and from what I've seen, and you're not the very confrontational type. No. If we talk about the whole debacle that happened with Carlos Mancia, everybody... <laughs> <laughs> Did he bring it back? He brought it back. He brought it. I love this guy. <laughs> Mother- motherfucker, 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 motherfucker. Mother- motherfuckers told you to tell it and you was like, ah. Yeah. And I understood why. I yeah, get, yeah, I, yeah. I get it. That's who I, I am. I get it. But, and, and, and I was really like, like, I, I I was not a comedian at the time and everything and yeah, stuff, yeah. and I was just aspiring to be. And even the, I understood where you're from. And even Joe Rogan went like, uh, maybe I went a bit too much, whatever. But things were had to be said. So I don't even think right there from the beginning, no matter what you think from the core, you're not a very confrontational person. <laughs> and then after that, you have to add, <laughs> yeah, everything that's right. right. Yeah. You're bright. But I'm gonna say some confrontational things. Oh okay. shit! Go ahead. Yeah. Okay, number one. His dick is long as shit. You <laughs> said that already. <laughs> you said that already. I know. I that's know, not. I'm that's not confrontational. I didn't say though. that. Fuck face. <laughs> Fuck face. I didn't say that, man. All right. So here's the deal, dude. Okay, the t- <laughs> here's the deal, dude. You know, I wish I had that moment over again. Mm. Back then. What would you do? What would you have done? Ooh, baby. I would have said, you this know what? This is crispy. I would have been honest and I would have said what I believe now is, is, yeah, he's a great performer, probably one of the best in the business. Yes. He crushes, right? Yes. I don't think some of his ideas is his, right? In fact, I know it isn't, right? Oh, my God. See the way you said that? Mm-hmm. You thought that was confrontational? There's still a lot of diplomacy. That was the softest shit I've heard today. <laughs> oh, wait, how would you? Let me, how would you no, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, give me another shot. Okay. <laughs> give me another. This is my no, first time of being bro. confrontational. Hey, you t- hey, what do you uh, What do you think about Carlos Mencia, Bobby? He's Bobby a thief. Lee. That that that's that's more like it. But <laughs> wait, can I say I put a butt there? He's a great guy. 
But then again, that no, no. But hold on, no, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't point at me, dude. Don't point at me. All right, let's not do this. Hold on, let's do this. Hold on. All right, hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. What you did there? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying not to point. Yeah, yeah. What you did there was actually more confrontational than the first time you said it, because you said, "Boom, he's that." You say what you say. You got what you got. What you got on your chest. You say it. Bam. But it's but there's so many layers to it, though, right? It's like fair. Fair. It, it, there's so much yes. nuance when it comes to my relationship with him, all the things you that still he still got a relationship with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I st- he still texts me. He gave you his first, your first car. He gave right? me. He, I didn't have a car. He bought me a car. Got he's me a still, car. He's still around. Yeah, he's still around. He still does comedy. Yeah, still does stand up. Cause I love to see that guy. He kills. Now that that shit is and, out, and he's like, also selling tickets and he's doing well. Cause now that that shit is out there. Yeah. All right. Hopefully, he doesn't do it no more. Cause. I used to fucking love this dude. Me too. The the performance was on point. On point, dude. On point. And I would like to. I. Right. We know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can mm-hmm. he he learn? Yes. Can we get over? That's what I'm saying. Because he still he still can bring something to the table. And I, I also have to say too to defend him. Right? Is what he did was in terms of comedy, um, a crime. Right? Yes. But other white dudes. Have done exactly the same thing he's done, yeah, del- and they get their career. They keep their career. Yeah, del- they keep their yeah. reputation. And he was thrown out of the fucking business, and he's been in prison for fifteen fucking yes. whatever years. And I think because he's a Mex, a Hispanic guy, and because he's a vocal guy, <laughs> I don't know what the fucking thing. But he, he went Mexican. Like well, I don't even know if he's Mexican. <laughs> no, no, he's Honduran. I need to. He's Honduran. He's Honduran. I need to tell. He's Honduran. He's Honduran. Diluted with water. Hispanic. Hispanic. Preach. Preach. Maybe I want Alba here. <laughs> You're right. My African let us fucking. I think I think I think he was in jail for too long. Way too long. He was in jail for too long, and yeah. I think that's that's me. Like, okay, we get it, we got it. Nah, he suffered. He can, he can, mm-hmm. he, he 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 really could do something out there. Yeah. So because right now the clips that I see, I feel like it's his own voice. I don't think he's stealing anymore. I think he's having he's finding joy in comedy again. He's selling tickets. You know, I know all those things. And um, he, without him in my life, I would have never been where I, I, you know, I am, because he he got me my agent. You know what I mean? He took me on the road for years. He taught me how to perform in certain certain crowds. And I mean, I learned so much from him. So when I was asked that question at the comedy store, you know what I mean, about that j- j- question, all that other stuff came with, you know what I mean, the answer. Mm. It's just nuanced and layered, and there's history and all this stuff. So it does. It does look like I'm a coward there, but people don't know my history. I don't think you're a coward. You're. It's. There's a difference between cowardice and being non-confrontational. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because because the confrontation comes with a, a a burden. It comes with a lot. You know what I mean? It That's comes, what I'm saying. Yeah. And you and I understand someone that doesn't want necessarily have to deal with that. <sighs> That's a lot to deal with. You understand? Yeah. So there's some people that are more apt to deal with it than some others. Coward is some other shit. It's it's not the same. It's very close, but it's really not the same category. Yeah. So so I wouldn't put, no people that are saying that they're misinformed. Yes. Or they they really put it in the same pot, but it's it's not exactly that. Yeah, it's interesting. I, yeah, you're absolutely right. I don't like controversy. I don't like, um, and I think w- one of the reasons why I don't like saying some of my opinions is because I just th- I don't know enough of the facts. Mm-hmm. I, it's just a feeling that I have, mm-hmm. right? Like um, I'm gonna throw out one controversy thing right now. The whole stop Asian hate thing, right? To me, it was slightly embarrassing. Why they didn't ask me to do PSAs? And there is the core. He didn't get asked to do the PSA. They asked Olivia Munn and Sandra Daniel Day Kim, oh. Sandra O. Oh. Oh. He wasn't did invited. You, and I was never asked to do any, right? And you're like, fuck that. Fuck shit. that. And I went, I went the other direction. There you go. He That's what it was. Full all, yeah, wow. We, got we, went, we went full circle. I and went full this circle. is I'm why we need to have conversation. I have the the the, the, the <laughs> that I have. Yeah, full yeah. circle again. That's why I, I don't like controversy because I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Back to that circle, right? <laughs> I really don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. I have these strange beliefs, right? That aren't grounded in any kind of fact or, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I say it out loud. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And this is what it gets me. What's another one I have? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, let's move on. Oh, <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's do worse. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
FanDuel. <laughs> Football seasons is underway. And I know you're excited, Bobby. Oh, I'm, I, I can't even sleep at What's night. your favorite teams? Falcons. <laughs> nice. Because I love Atlanta. Let's so go. now is the perfect time to download FanDuel, mm. America's number one sports book. Because right now, new customers get a no-sweat first bet up to $1,000. Oh, my gosh. That's free bets. Back. If your first bet doesn't win, just sign up with promo code Belly. Now, what, what's FanDuel? FanDuel is my favorite app when I, when I, when I want to put some money down in terms of games. Well, Papa wants to make money. I want to make money. And I love football. I love the eccentric. Touchdown uh, celebration. Yeah, the celebrations, man. <laughs> and FanDuel has all of your favorite bets from the money line to point spreads to player prop. You can combine your bets for a chance at a bigger payout with a same game parlay. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So sign up. And, and you what? get your winnings really fast, Gilbert. Yeah. Really, really fast. Pass interference. So sign up today with promo code BELLY for your first no-sweat first bet. Make every moment more this season with FanDuel, official sportsbook partner of the NFL. Disclaimer, 21 plus in select states. First online real money wager only. Refund issued as non-withdrawable non -withdrawable free bets that expires in 14 days. Restrictions apply. See terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Visit fanduel.com slash R-G-C-O-I-A-M-I-N-J-P-A-I-L-B-A. 1-800-NEXT-STEP-PROTECT-NEXT-STEP-2-5-3-4-2. Arizona, one 888 or visit ccpg.org slash chatct. 1-800-9-WITH-IT-I-M-1-800-522-4700 1-800-522-4700-WY or visit www.1800gambler.net. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. You guys, um, you know, I've had a lot of tough things happen earlier in my life. And, you know, I carried that baggage with me through life. And I, I've been able to release that stuff and talk about it through BetterHelp Online Therapy. It's changed my life. I'm free now. Mm. Um, I, you know, a lot of the trauma that's stored in my body is gone. And um, I really think that in many ways, BetterHelp has changed me for the better. Navigating any of life challenges can make you feel unsure, whether it's a career change, a new relationship, or becoming a parent. And the BetterHelp therapists are trained to help you figure out the cause of these challenging emotions and learn productive coping skills. As the world's largest therapy service, BetterHelp has matched 3 million people with professionally licensed and vetted therapists available 100% online, plus it's affordable. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to match with a therapist. If things aren't clicking, you can easily switch to a new therapist anytime. It couldn't be simpler. No waiting rooms, no traffic, no endless searching for the right therapist. Learn more and save 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash belly. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash belly. <laughs> oh, what's another controversial thing that you and uh, Abba talk about? Ooh, I have a topic for you guys. Okay, that okay. Kind of let's see discuss. if I have a point of view about her. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> There's this woman by the name of Esther Perel. She's a psychiatrist. She wrote a book called Mating in Captivity. Mm. And um, now she has this new book called um, State of Affairs. And it's, her thing is like how redefining infidelity and how as a society we've been like, no, no, bad, 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 bad. Mm. Um, but she basically is like, you know, who owns our erotic self? Like, do we give ownership when we enter like a monogamy with someone? Do they own every aspect of that, every aspect of us, even like our erotic self? Mm -hmm. But I don't think. Yeah, go ahead. And um, so basically in it, she talks about um, it's hard to kind of figure out like what infidelity is because so many people have different like definitions of it. So I want to go through a list with you guys and you tell me if it's cheating or not. Uh, what I would if I'm in a yeah. relationship, what I would consider cheating. Right. Okay. It's a fun game. You tell me now what you consider. Well, let's cheating. do a game. It's a game show, right? Ruff, 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 ruff. You don't see that that might be potentially a trap? What? <laughs> what? Trying to figure out shit that you did while you <laughs> You don't I, see this shit? I, I, see, I see a... I, I don't give a fuck. We're out. Yeah, we're I'm out. I'll throw you lifeline. Infidelity trap. Okay. All right, right, go. Here we go. So this is th these are her words, okay? Her words pointed at you. Yeah. Not talking no, to you're me. involved too. Oh, you're, no, you're in this no, 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 no. You're in this is, you're there's, again, two boo -boo. there's two contestants in the fucking game. Yeah, there show, are. Dude. You're playing too. <laughs> Okay. You don't like confrontation, but you're very aggressive. I, I, I am. I'm very, go ahead. Go ahead, Clyde. Yeah, yeah. You, we okay. go. I go back. I go first. You go first. Okay. You okay. give an answer to. Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh, us three. Right. 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 Okay. Well, okay. Do we? Because if we're contestants, we introduce ourselves. Okay. You're the host of the show. Uh, my name is Bobby Lee. I'm a comedian from Los. I want to do it real. Cut. Do it again. Yeah, it. Go yeah, ahead. Okay. Ask me where you come. You have to be the host. Yeah. Of the show. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Cheaters USA. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, we have three contestants tonight. Yeah. Um, what's your? I'm. Uh, I'm Bobby. 
Nice to meet you, Bobby. I'm really eager. I just, oh, that's okay. I just got really excited. I'm on a game show, and um, I'm from Bob. I'm Bobby Lee. Um, I'm a comedian. I live here in L.A. Uh, so my crafts. I'm on Sex in the City. Mag mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Great. just let me get my credits out. You know what I mean? <laughs> Reservation Dogs. You know, um, Mad TV for eight years. Bunch of movies. Um, also, great two pop, successful pop. Thank you. All right. Uh, then, Thank next you, one, Bobby. next contestant. Next contestant. Hi, yeah, I'm Preach. I'm a part of the duo <laughs> Abba and Preach. Uh, I'm in LA just for this thing right here. <laughs> <laughs> and that was an error. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Hey, what's up? I'm Gilbert. I'm a sidekick and I have a fiance. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. Great, All right. Great. Da, da, da. <laughs> Go. All right. Um, so. I'm going to ask you guys some questions, and you're going to tell me whether or not you think this is cheating. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Okay, what do we consider cheating? Bobby, you first. Liking women's photos. Mm. No. 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 Okay. Chatting. There's no answer? Hold on. We'll no, no, no. It. I'm just, we'll get to it at the very But you end. have all answers for every single There's no thing. wrong or right in this. What kind of game is this? <laughs> Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. Like shows, he said, the show's canceled. It's just, <laughs> the it, network comes out, we're canceling it. It's a trap. That's all it's it's a trap. Oh, right, right. That's, that's the game. Trap. All right, so it's no, 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 no. I don't think that's cheating. That's not cheating. Okay, so basically, she says that the digital go to everyone. Go ahead. Offers a whole range of options, right? Uh, give me another one. Um, okay. What about a customized OnlyFans um, video? Receiving one from a woman. Me receiving one. Yeah, a customized. I think that's cheating. No. Yes. Um, what about cam girls, live cam girls? Cheating. No. Yes. Okay. Um, sexting? Cheating. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, remaining secretly active on dating apps? Is that cheating? Yes, it's cheating. <laughs> Why'd you ask her? Is it? I don't know. If, cheating is you got so nervous, dude. It's cheating. It's cheating. <laughs> Pre? Oh, yes, it is. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, lap dances? Cheating. No. No. Okay. Um, massages with happy endings. <laughs> Cheating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the most. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Girl on girl hookups. When, what's girl on girl? Like be if your girlfriend were to hook up with another woman. And I'm jerking off in the room? No, you're nowhere to be found. Why would I care then? Oh, this is you don't think it's cheating if she does that. If my girlfriend fucked with another girl? Yes. Yeah. No, go ahead. Okay. Can I be? What, can I watch? No. You're <laughs> okay. Not all, right, all right. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, cheating. Yes. Okay. Why? Um, Why? Staying in touch with an ex when there's still a vibe. Yes. No. 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 Okay. Oh, you said that, but there was a little bit of resentment in the vibe. <laughs> I was like, oh, you I said like, that, but it was... I was like, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, all of this to say that there is no universally agreed upon definition of cheating. So basically uh, all our answers vary. So it's like, that's what makes her whole, um, but, you know, discussion about... But a happy it, ending. Like, everyone's getting a happy ending if that's not cheating. <laughs> The cheating thing is really depending on the contract that you have with your partner. Thank exactly. you. It's yeah. really, it's really just that. So, yeah. so yeah. Of course, we don't like normally we don't discuss about it. We don't talk about it. Like, what do you want to want? And we should. And uh, the relationships that actually discuss the most about that are the polyamorous relationships. They are the ones that talk the most about their boundaries and gay couples as well. What's a, poly what's a polyamorous? Polyamorous is multiple partners. Polyamorous. Poly polyamorous. Yeah. yeah. Polyamorous. Yeah. yeah. But and I that's was in before you. You were in one before that. Yeah. Right. So how do you enter a... Con so you go to... You, I just, I, just I, I don't know how to get into these things. You want to get an app for it? I no, no, no. They're not an app. So if I, let's say you're a new girl I'm meeting. <laughs> yeah. Right? I just want to try to figure this out, right? I go, hey, Samantha. Just say, yeah. you're Samantha, right? Uh -huh. Hey. Uh -uh. <laughs> Mate, give me yeah. a name. Hey, Jing Jong. <laughs> <laughs> that's your name in the scene. Stick hey, to it. Jing Jong. Yes, Anne. You're Jing Jong. You are Jing Jong. That's your name I'm giving you. Stay in it, Bobby. <laughs> Be Jing Jong. Be Jing Jong. I hate Jing Jong. <laughs> <laughs> Embody it. Uh, Embody you're, it. You're, you're, you're Jing, Jing Jong. Jong. Uh, can I change your name then? Yeah. Okay. Ling Slap. This <laughs> <laughs> is great. <laughs> Ling, hi, Ling, Ling Slap. Hi, Jing Jong. Hi, Ling Slap. <laughs> What's the point of all this? You don't know what the fuck is going on. All right, then preaches the, pre, pre, preaches, the, preaches the waiter. Preaches the waiter. All right. Yes. No, no. So I go, let's stop. Let's stop. Yeah. So we're going to start with appetizers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the weirdest. I got to get back here. I got to finish this. 
I gotta finish this. Right, so yeah. Link, soldier hi, on, Slap. soldier on. All right, Link Slap. So, um, listen, I'm really into Paula Amaro's relationships. <laughs> Wait, no, you're, you should just <laughs> hit on me. Crying. What are you talking about? You don't just open with, hey, I'm really into it's Paula Amaro's Amaro. relationship. Oh, that's what I desire. Are you okay? <laughs> what? I'm Jing Jong. <laughs> oh, Paula Amaro's guy. Are you already in one? No. And you want me as a fifth? No, like, I, what I'm saying is, is that I don't have any, right? Can you be my first of the, a, a part of my stable? Your harem? Yeah. Are there men involved, or is it just, just yeah. you, a harem of women? And, me and my friend Peach. <laughs> yeah. So you need a new name, right? Yes. Uh, um, Black Lit. <laughs> <laughs> Black Lit. <laughs> Black Lit. So dumb. Jing what Jong, you, uh, Black Lit. <laughs> Why can't I go Black Lit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, black lit. So black lit. <laughs> Jing, I'm Jing Chong. Black lit. Black lit. And uh, what's a slap? Ling slap. Ling slap. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, this is my friend uh, Black lit and me, and we're we we're, we want to be in a polyamorous relationship. That sounds like a gangbang. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a gangbang. <laughs> that sounds like a choo choo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna politely decline. <laughs> oh, you have to decline. You I'm can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can. But yeah. basically, yeah. whenever you meet someone, <laughs> yeah. If I can sum it up, if you meet someone, yeah, okay, you meet someone and you're like, oh, so you just tell them I'm more, I'm open. I'm oh, open okay. To that, are you like you have yeah. to? Oh, yeah. Have, so I'm open to that lifestyle. Yeah, are yeah, you? You, have, you have to test the waters in that person. If that person is, if it's a fit, then you have to establish the boundaries. So, yeah, yeah. is she allowed to have? Uh, to bring the person? Is it only uh, physical? Is it sentimental? Is it only the person when I'm there or y'all could do your thing? You have to establish all those boundaries and those those parameters. Param parameters? Yeah, yeah. Parameters. Parameters. My bad. I said it in French. Anyways. Oh. Um, Paramètres. Parameter. That's the reason. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so you have to establish all of those shits. Oh, I see. Before right. you go on. Right. So, for example, like if, well, it would if, be if we were in a relationship. Yeah. Are you OK? Like, do you want to just have sex as a group? Or are you OK with me going off and having sex? Oh, like, can, 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 I, can, I, can I take her out? Yeah. Blacklit. Yeah. <laughs> Blacklit. You may not preach, but your character is blacklit. Yes. Oh, he will. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, tell, tell us a little bit about black. What, what does a black what, do? What is, yeah, what's his yeah, yeah. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah. Well, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's not me. That's my character. That's your yeah, character. Yeah, character. He's a welder. I'm saying that with my. He's a welder. Yeah, yeah under sea. Yeah, yeah. Under, oh under, my god. Underwater, underwater welding. Those are. I'm Those are into complex. That. Yes. Good union. Good thing I do is risky. Yeah. Right. So here's the deal. Okay. <laughs> Already. Yeah. No. I, I'm not into that. I thought you said that's what you want. I understand that. I did until I knew what the rules were. You make the rules. Yeah, you make. The I rules. thought it was gonna be like, no, this will be five women and me. Uh, maybe that's that, but, that, but, that, but that could be your rule. Oh, that's my rule. That, could that would be, be my rule. rule. And you have to find. But that, but, but, no, you have, but you have to find five, five girls that are willing to do to that. do that to be like sister wives, mm. kind of with each other. Why? Well, you know, when we did break up, uh, there was a hot girl that goes, mm. "Hey, to on my in direct message, she goes, is there? Could I fuck you and Claude at the same time? At the same time? Yeah, yeah. And I go. No, an exclamation mark, right? But would, would would you be open to that? I had pitched that idea for so long because yeah, yeah. all I, I, I did, and you were like, no, that's deviant too, and unchristian. It's deviant and unchristian. I, I'll tell you, <laughs> I, I want to say something to you, preach. <laughs> black, that's not happy. You're not black, that's anymore. <laughs> He's not black, not, not black that anymore. You're, You're preach. Deviant preach. and unchristian. I, I'm that? very traditional, and I, I, I want a monogamous thing. I think that's what I do. That's yeah. what I'm about. Yeah, but don't put God in that shit. That's you. That's you. That's not God. It ain't got nothing to do with God. When's the last time you went to church? Don't put God into this. I pray every day. Don't put God into this. Why are you doing the head thing? Because that's my head thing. That's what I do. <laughs> okay, my bad. My bad, dude. I do one too, dude. I do What's one your head? There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I it's part it. of my heritage. What you got to say about that? <laughs> uh, we got heritages too, dude, in Korea. <laughs> I don't, yeah, yeah. In Korea, we do this. When we do make the fucking rice soup. <laughs> do we make rice soup? Anyway. I really I thought it was talking about Gangnam Style. I was doing Gangnam Style. Okay, my point is, is this. Let's go back to it. So I, I'm, I'm more traditional. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. possible. Because I don't like, you know, the idea of my girlfriend. I, I mean, there are, okay, I've been, obviously, when we're in a relationship, there were women... I'd be on the road. I would see a girl. Oh, she's hot. But I would just never do it because I just felt like that was our rule that we wouldn't do that. 
But I wouldn't want you to do that either, so that's why I don't do it. So it's like, yeah, but when, it feels safer that way. <laughs> like uh, you, you and your girl um, from Quebec, yeah, you have a m just a straight monogamous yeah. thing. Yeah. Now, is that what you want? Sure. Yeah, and she, that's what she wants. Yeah. Why do you think that is? That's probably uh, engraved in Christianity and stuff like that. I have to dig more into that. So you brought religion. When I brought religion in, you said that's, back it has nothing then, to do with we, God. Yeah, because because it it comes from that. I'm not saying that it's that now. Right. I'm not bringing it now. Like I'm saying, yeah, it's because of God. I don't know damn well it's not. Yeah. I, I dropped that shit a long ass time ago. So it's not. I'm not doing that because of God or whatever, or whatnot. Yeah. It's, yeah. There's there's definitely like. The way I was brought up and stuff like that, mm. and all the, all the pressure that we, we 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 give to each other, you know what I mean? Yeah, the pressure that as a society we think is everything that is bombarded to us in the media and stuff like that. So you keep listening, and you think that's a, the, the basic and stuff like that, and you don't you don't ask yourself questions as to know. Wait, wait, maybe it's possible to have something different or to have something more. You know? Yeah, yeah, you don't ask that. Yeah, maybe I'm conditioned to think that way. But it's also. It if you feel safe and secure in that, then you don't feel mm -hmm. like you are depriving yourself of something yeah. that you truly like desire, mm. then then it works, right? That's when traditional monogamy works. You're like, okay, this is because even marriage in itself is a very weighted institution. Like there's before before what it is now, now we require love and intimacy. But back in the day it was just an it was functional. It was just an economic. Um, yeah. The love thing was a marketing. Thing. Exactly. It was very. They, they, they sold that shit with love just for the marketing of this, but it was really just to be. You're gonna provide for the kids. Right. I'm gonna protect the whole house, and that's gonna be that. We're gonna market it at with the love, and it's supposed to be like, you know, happily, happy, happily live, happily ever after. You know, but that's that's not. Yeah. That's not what it is. Like. Well, like modern love, I think, is very, very high pressure. I think we we look at our partners as a one-stop shop for all of our needs, and I don't think that that's a very reasonable way to go about a partnership. And to solve all our problems and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, it depends. The, the, the thing is, I don't think that's inherently bad mm -hmm. to think like that and to be like that, and that the tra tra traditional love is not a bad thing. But I do not think that it is for everybody and it's as widely spread as we think it is like i don't i don't want to necessarily i wouldn't force it on people saying mm -hmm. forcing it on people saying that is the truth and the thing i think that's not really real mm. and that's not it, it, it can't be it just can't be so to each their own but yeah it's definitely a conversation that we we as a society have to have about that the to, 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 to each their own is the good motto yeah, to each that's the thing. But you have to find your other person that has to be your own. You, know right, I mean? you have to right, right, find right. an other fit or other fits, depending of whatever floats your boat. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow, it's interesting. There's a lot to think about. Yeah, because if you think about even infidelity, inf infidelity is not going away. It's evergreen. It's no. here to stay. Yeah. Because as long as there is sexual desire and there is like there are rigid rules around like um, traditional monogamy, you're always going to find that people are going to be betrayed and hurt in some capacity, like however it's defined to them. Mm. Like like your answers differed, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's like for me, um, even. Well, yeah, like that. That was that was my point. So it's it's a weird thing. I don't know yeah, where I'm I, I, on it. You know, really. I know it, being single right now is very interesting to me because um, there's a you, when you meet somebody new, there's a mystery there. There's a newness. There's a, there's sort of like a, ex, a, this kind of false excitement. You know what I mean? It feels like drugs in many ways. You know what I mean? Like my, I feel like my dopamine is being hit, and it feels that way. But I know what exactly feels like that. What? What exactly feels like that? When you meet somebody new, when you mm, hook up for yeah, the first yeah, time, yeah. when you kiss yeah, for the first yeah, time, you know yeah. what I mean? You know what I mean? All those that things. Butterflies and shit. But yeah. that shit mm. will go away. It's guaranteed, right? So, and But now I've been more mindful about it. And I realize that maybe, I don't know if this is sustainable, but maybe just stay the way I'm doing it now for the rest of my life. But then I don't get the other stuff. Mm. What right? is the other stuff? The foundation, somebody, you know what I mean? The closeness and the, you know real deep intimacy and mm. maybe starting a family or anything. What do that. you what do you actually want? I want both. Being and, able to fly around and then Yeah, I mean I want the feeling of drug that you know what I mean that the, the excitement dopamine. and the mystery and all that stuff. And also 
somebody that's going to be there. Well, it's either two things. Either you are, bless you. Either. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, there was no sound, so why'd you bless my fart? Because I, I knew what the hell you did. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, right, looked, right, he looked right, at you. All right. <laughs> Have you farted? If someone goes, I know what they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I, what I your butt did. I know. Did you fart? Have you farted since you've been here? Yeah, of course. Okay, good. Wow. Bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. So basically, on what you're saying is, I think either you are more polyamorous than you are than you think, uh huh, than you want to believe, or you're not polyamorous and you lack discipline. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh. Interesting. And I'm, it's not even it's not even a judgment. Yeah, yeah. It's just is what it is. It's a lot it of is what it like, is. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot yeah. of us we lack discipline and whatever and not. Yeah. But I think it's it might be one of or maybe there's other options out there. I don't know. But, but there but, but there's a works. new thing that I'm doing that I just want to tell people is and I've never done this before. I'm literally setting boundaries up front. That's good. You know what I mean? What kind? I, like I, I I could see myself, you know what my so what's my MO back, back in the day? What is it? With, 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 but promising thing, you know. What oh I mean? my! <laughs> yeah. See, she rolled her eyes. I, I'm not good. It's not good. It's not good. <laughs> that was Thumbs not good. Up. I, I, I'm, I'm so mindful about He's that. Like, I mean, I'm yeah, mindful I about feel it. Like a guy in like in your position of power, especially like it was so just rampant every like that's what how dudes like let me get you something i'm gonna I'm make yeah you want to do stand-up try open marks i'll take you on the road <laughs> wait, wait 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 wait. his position of power that's okay it's a whole mm. conversation him and i have but what, he what like what position of power <laughs> hey fuck you man no no wait wait back back up back up bear john, with john, john back up john, 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 with you you know with you and your hand thing fuck you dude all right <laughs> let me say something right now dude all right <laughs> say to you maybe not bobby to you maybe not you're this hot oh chic black guy from Montreal, <laughs> you know what I mean, with the French, with the, the croissant. Bobby, you know Bobby, what I mean? Bobby, what, what are you doing? Bear with me. Right, and you hey, have your bear, Abba, bear, bear. Abba, <laughs> and you, you st do stand up, sell out, <laughs> sell out shows. You got it too. But I'm Bobby. saying, in some fucking no, in some no, shut up, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Right? In some, look at price, nothing, dude. This guy is like, dead Bryce inside. is out. Bryce is out. Dude, you're, are you working for this company right now? <laughs> Get involved. Anyway, my point is, is this. I love this. I love uh, all uh, this. What I'm saying is, is the that. The guy that did not want confrontation is confrontation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You got me going. Well, so I'm to saying, the dark side. In <laughs> hey, don't talk right now. All right? You're, you're, back, you're black lit again. You're black lit. <laughs> all right. All right. Black lit, listen. No, listen. You got to be Jing Jong. Whatever. Uh, all right, Jing Jong. <laughs> Jing Jong is talking. So in certain circles, I do have power. That's it. <laughs> The reason that I use the term, the reason that I use the term of Asia power, position bro. of power, yeah. Yeah, yeah. is because he likes. He has out. He has talked about not being attracted to a woman who is um, equally as wealthy. Um, oh God! Wait, is, said I never said that. But I but, never said that. But Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. That is most of us. Yeah, it's it's it's. Thank you, Blacklit. I told you I was on your side. <laughs> I know you did. I didn't you told know. me to shut the I fuck up know. for I two minutes know. and a half. I didn't know. I I'm didn't on know. your side. I didn't bro. know. I didn't know. I'm on your side. Oh, you're on my side. I forgot. And, yeah, but, yeah, but it, most, I get it. most of us is yeah, that. I get it. And it's it, not so much that we we're not turned on by it. Is that we don't we don't care. It doesn't check matter. This out. Yeah. In '92, LA rides. I would loot with, with you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's in Montreal. Yeah, so we're, so. I, I know, Bobby's saying in that context. You know what I mean? Korean. You know what I mean? I'm not against. I'm with. We're gonna do it together. It's my uncle's store, but we're gonna yeah, do yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I'm with you too, dog. Yeah. Well, right, thank you. I'm right here. I know. I'm here too, bro. Go ahead. I forgot the original point. <laughs> okay. The thing that happened is that you were talking about position of power, and I said, "What do you mean by position of power?" Right. And right. he flipped the script. The reason why I said, "Why do you mean by position of power?" The only reason I said that is yeah. because. I, I feel like women have a tendency to use and over abuse of that term of position of power. And that's the only reason why I wanted to specify. Doesn't mean you ain't got power. Doesn't mean you ain't great. You are who you are. Bobby Lee. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, but I just want to know, what do you mean by position of power? Yeah, I, I I think that it's more something that he's defined for himself. Not necessarily yeah, like, because even power. when I got with him, I never felt like he was in a position of power. <laughs> See who's not on your side now? <laughs> Look at me, Bobby. 
I'm nationwide. Nationwide. I know that one. That's me. That's me. I know. Yay. (laughs) Jane John. What? No power? Nothing? Not in the beginning, no. Okay. No. Interesting. Wow, do you want me to leave you? No, 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 no. no, no, That's great. This is why I love it. My point is this. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah? Yeah. Like you, right? You think the girl that you're with now, Mm -hmm. right? Beautiful white girl from Quebec. Mm. Is with, if you were working at Papa John's Pizza, you think you'd be able to get her? The yeah, same girl? I was that guy. I've only been a, I've only been making money for the past six months to a year, but I've been with my girl twenty three years. You understand oh what I'm saying? Oh my she's been, god! She's been no, no, don't clap. It's ugh. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Nationwide like, is yeah. all your yeah. side. Like, you know what I mean? I've been, I read it wrong. I've been the guy from Papa John's. I've been that dude. Right, right, right. I love Papa John's, like, by she, the way. If been, you work there, that's been, good. Sponsored. She's been, right? she yeah, been, yeah. she been, like, making three times what I was doing. But because she was doing three times what I was doing, I had to pull, I had, I had to pull my weight some other way. Right. Whenever she was doing work, and I was doing work, well, at least, oh, shit, she's working until 8. She started at 6 in the morning, working until 8. Yeah. Shit, let me just make sure that the dinner is ready when she gets home before uh, I go about my business, do my thing. Yeah. Now that I'm doing my like I'm pulling my weight and stuff. Like I, I've always pulled my weight, but in different ways. You know what I mean? Well, you're doing well now because you have Flash Gordon boots on. I love that. <laughs> yeah, he was waiting for you. you. Fucking, I had to fucking say it. My gators, you go to space. Like, my so what future? Oh, that's great, man. But but as a thing, where do you even buy those? Uh, just it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's uh yeah. I know, fancy sycamore style. Yeah, what's it called? Sycamore style. Look, 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 look. Sycamore style. Yeah, look, Google Instagram. Uh, I want to learn Instagram, that. Instagram, sycamore style. But your look, though, can I just say this? Let's right. go look, go different direction a little bit. Yeah, good. I jive with I like it. You jive with that? Yeah, yeah. You jive with that? I'll tell you why. This yeah, is pretty much my good. look, too. Jeans, so, yeah. right? Cool t-shirt, mm-hmm. fancy shoes. That's what's up? Yeah, yeah, Right now? Well, I mean, these are these are golden goose. They look raggedy, know. but, you know. No, what are $700. What are they? Golden goose. Yeah, I don't know that. Yeah, you don't fuck with that? Uh, I would. I, yeah, those. Oh, oh those shit. Oh, you got to get a pair. Yeah, sycamore oh, I, I got to get a sycamore I'm, go, I'm going to get like those Onyx and those Rouge. Oh, 700 Whoa, someone's doing real good on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> That's YouTube money, baby. What's up? Look at that. Whoa. I want to get those yellow ones, speed yellows. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want from. Oh, look at the green ones. Those are fucking. Look yeah, at that. Fucking, this, this, this is from New York. This is a place like this guy is in New York. Oh, that's cool. I though. ordered those. I love those. those yeah, nice. yeah, those are dope. Yeah, this, 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 yeah. Sycamore style. And Garden Orange is cool. I'm going to buy some tonight. I like I like things that come out of New York. Maybe it's just because my family's there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, you know, uh, Daniel's Leather? You know, mm-hmm. that's another one on Instagram. Daniel's Leather. Whew. Anyways, wait. let me ask you about. Um, so you do you and Abba? Abba. Do stand up, right? Yeah. Yeah, how long have you been doing stand up? I started in 2015. Okay, so soup like rookie seven years ago. Yeah, right. Well, I'm not gonna count two years. Yeah, because I don't know how it was for you the past two years. Us horrid in Canada. In Canada. Oh, I bet it, yeah, that we was. had we were in the worst province, so we were shut down, uh, curfews, oh, shit. Uh, everything shut down. Like I mean, shut shut down. So yeah, it was bad. So yeah, yeah. Some of your laws up there is fucking weird. It was crazy. That so was, even like the murderer. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like what? even like there was a Chinese guy looked just like you, by so the way. There was this Chinese guy. There was a Chinese guy looked just like you, John. Uh there was a Chinese guy, right, yeah. in Canada. Yeah. He was on a Greyhound bus. Uh-huh. He ate a white kid. Oh yeah, yeah. You know that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's like a free man. He, he, he's not a free man, but decapitated I decapitated the dude. Well, he was he was allowed to change his name and his entire identity. He decapitated the dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. With the headphones. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. So headphones on the bus. That's a, don't you think that's a weird? I think in America you'd eat a white dude, you're gone forever. That's baby. one. Yeah, but there's also a white dude that ate an Asian dude. So. Oh, it cancels. Oh, that's right. Right, Right, that it cancels it out. If you you look, that's true. That's true. If you look for Luca Rocco. Oh yeah, yeah. Madonna, Madonna. That was us. He didn't eat it. He fucked the limbs. And he did eat. Cut it and ate. He probably ate a little bit. But Jeffrey Jeffrey Dahmer ate an Asian. Right. That's right, a Filipino. Right. Filipino. And that's a good thing for you see, guys. See, see, don't see how we said that? You guys are tasty. You said he ate Asian. Yeah, Filipino. Yeah. <laughs> Black people I, of the Asian. Thank you. Uh, thank no, you. No, he tastes no. I heard it. No. I heard it. No, 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 no. They're tastier. That's a fact. <laughs> Koreans are fucking chewy. <laughs> <laughs> Koreans are way too chewy, dude. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah. Yo. And it tastes like rice cake. I don't like it. My, my point is, is this, okay? <laughs> it is that is um, you're right. So it cancels each other out. Just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's true. Maybe that's maybe that's what. I have a question then about uh, eating people and cannibalism. Why me? <laughs> <laughs> like for someone, for a guy like Army Hammer, who is like sexting women, his you know his fantasies about wanting to eat their fingers. You know about Army Hammer, right? Uh, don't tell me about that guy. Well, it's like, is there a <laughs> redemption know. arc for somebody <laughs> like that? Like, is there a way for him to like still work in Hollywood someday? No. Is it over, over? Well, he ate somebody? No, but he talked about wanting, like, to eat. Well, you I know, mean, like, I know it's like some... You you just reminded me, just you asking that question. Yeah. You yeah. just reminded me how women love that shit so much. Eating? You think it's sexy, no, don't you? No, they like to get eaten. But <laughs> <laughs> they like, like, fucking serial killers and astrology. Oh, class, that's your that. shit. Yeah, that's your shit. That's... Serial killers, astrology is so bogus to me. Okay, okay good. My Let me ask you okay, this. Okay, cool. Army ha- yeah, Armin yeah, yeah. Hammer. Yeah, Army Hammer. That's Army Hammer. Is there a thought that if you would you hook up with him? Here, if he was like a self-made, because I, I no, watched with what, the with documentary. What, with, with the stuff that you know about him now, yeah. there's, there's, you, there might be an excitement no, about fucking you him. You already have your answer. She didn't say no. That's true. She said, if you know. <laughs> That's true. Like, if the right things will happen. She didn't say no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now the pressure is on, like he cannot hurt me, right? Because like eyes are on him. So, but so if he was that's like, how, that's how you think? Yeah, I, there's a safety in the, in people in in me knowing oh, that he's yeah, you been want found that out about. Motherfucker, but not so dangerous. Which right, you. that I could I, die. I would fuck him up if he ate you. I would fuck him up. How you ain't gonna do? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Blacklit. <laughs> Something about my chivalry, dude. <laughs> Jing Jong, baby. Yeah, Jing Jong. Yeah, your Jing Jong fucking Jing power, dude. Jing Bro, I, I will, do your Jing Jong's gonna do it, Jing dude. Jing Jong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll yell at him. That sounded I'll so I'll yell at him. Did you say that? Dude, I'll be <laughs> there for That's it here, Jing Jong. Jing Jong. You ain't go. That sounded no, so it, racist. Dude, when he's in court, I'll yell some shit out. <laughs> right? Like, hey, man, fuck. You shouldn't have done that. But apparently he comes from really old white money. And if he got, got out, I would spend my life killing. I would, I'll kill him. Jesus. If he ate you, that would fuck me up. Babe, well, I, would, well, I would kill Armin Hammer. Armin? Armin, <laughs> Armin, Armin Hammer. I'll, I'll kill Armin Hammer, dude. <laughs> right? Like if, if, if somebody ate your girl, right? Let's say this guy ate your girl. Would you kill him? And I'm doing this the whole time. I mean, I mean what's... <laughs> but keep in mind, I'm doing that the whole time. Yeah, yeah, it's really, yeah, yeah. it's really just because of the noise, not because of the fact that you're killing her. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. that's annoying as fuck. That's my annoying G. as fuck. Yeah, yeah, that's annoying. That's yeah. annoying. Don't do that again. But do it again. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You would kill him, right? Uh, but it depends on the circumstances. What oh, circumstances? Is that guy's eating your he girl. Look tasty that day. What do you it, mean? Like, oh, hold on, hold on. He's in here and he got caught by the police, so now I can get to him. Or uh. I see him now and he's doing this shit. Yeah, of course. If I see it now, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Something. But if yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna... What if you walked in a room and you saw Bobby Lee with your girl and he's just naked? Oh my god. What, what, are, you do, what are you doing right now? I I just, hold on, hold on. I want to see. I want to see. Let me laugh. I want to see. Let me let me finish. That's what I was gonna ask. I'd be like Bobby Lee doing Bobby Lee things. My, my, my girl's a black belt. If she's mad, she's going to do whatever the hell she got to do. Right, but right, right. If she ain't doing nothing, she's safe and she knows it's Bobby Lee. So it's cool. It's all good in the hood. He ain't going to hurt nobody. Yeah, yeah. It's Bobby. Now, honestly, if you saw me hooking up with your girl, you'd be mad. Hooking up? Yeah. I mean, I mean I, what can I do? Oh, that's right. Like if I can okay, ban you there, from some club, thing, probably. If there's you're this, like, <laughs> <laughs> I call there's ST from the cellar. See? He beat me up. Power, exactly. Position of position power. power. See, yeah, yeah. Now you see it. Yeah, you're not big doing balls. Shit. I, okay, you're, you're not doing it. shit. No, but <laughs> I'll call fucking. No, but the thing that happened. Read up from the com- improv. The, the thing that happened. You know this whole thing. Whenever you okay, if you see someone hooking up with your girl, do you beat the girl or the guy? Uh-oh. I would probably go. Thanks a lot. <laughs> That's the first thing. Probably would, but I ain't beating nobody. Yeah, no. I'm not beating anybody. I ain't beating no, but that's a clear message. Yeah, yeah, I would go if they were living in my house. I'd go. I'm gonna go to a hotel. I'll give you two days. Get all your shit. Get the fuck out of my house. Yes, yeah, and leave. Idea. Like I'm not beating nobody. Yeah, yeah. Beating, no. Yeah, yeah. No, but the next person that fucks me up though, I'm gonna take it out on them. <laughs> <laughs> but, now, but, now like, since your new fame and you and Abba killing it, you know what I mean? In yeah. you know what I mean? Are you selling tickets now on the road? 
Not yet. We haven't like we have to get our visa together. Just to... oh, but in Canada, right. even you don't you're not selling. You oh, don't I'm do not, shows in Montreal. I'm still, like we open back up this summer, and before summer, like this the spring, and then I was on tour with another guy. Do we stand up? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, one of uh, uh, Montreal's, uh, Quebec's most famous dude. He's actually got sued because of a joke. No, really? Yeah, Mike Ward. Uh, oh, yeah, I don't know him. Yeah. Do so you open for him? Yeah, I opened for him for yeah. his store. Yeah. So we were doing that. Not a How many seats? Fun. A thousand, thousand yeah. five. You know. I just did. I did um, shows with Tom Segura in Canada. Yeah. I did Halifax. I did um, L- London. A big. Big, huge. Canada's back, baby. It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. But do you do you, do you, do you do your own shows in Canada? You want to come to Canada? Well, I've done it in my in before COVID. Yeah, I've done. Do you want to do it now? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'll now. fly you out. Do their show. Wait, you do your own stand up show? No, no, there? I'll bring you out. You just do your own thing, man. You got nice, nice new venues that I know. You should come out. Yeah, because back in the day, you used to do like five shows at Yuck Yucks, and you hated that. Yeah, but yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 I do. Yuck the yuck. name is Yuck Yuck. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. No, Yuck Yuck is okay. It's, it's just okay. that yeah, yeah. it's just weird a bit because when you do Yuck Yucks, you can't go in another com- comedy store. That, well, they, that, have those, they have those strange contracts they have with comics. That's, that's, fucking, that's bullshit. That's what I'm saying. That's bullshit. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, which I I'm, I don't agree with that. But if you want to do your own, yo, you could. Well, I, I, what I want to do, to be honest with you, is do you have guests on your podcast? Yeah, we do. And, and in Montreal, you do it? Yeah. I'd like to go to Montreal, do a one-night show, do your podcast. You could do Mike's podcast too. Yeah, I would do like Mike's podcast, yeah. your podcast. Yeah. Hang out with my brothers out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? With Black Lit and his buds. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and and hang out for a week. Let's do that. I want to do that. You want to do that? 100%. Let's hook it up, man. I really want to. <laughs> hook it up. I love you so much. Do you do, do, you do hotel? You do, you do. Do you do, you do hotel <laughs> or you live at, like, you want to crash on my spot? What do you want to do? What well, do you think? I, no, what do you think? No, wait, 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 no, wait, stop, stop, stop. Everyone stop, right? <laughs> I crash your spot. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And what does that include? Whatever you want. Really? <laughs> what do you think you're gonna get? Whatever you want means a lot of things. What do you want? Food. Check. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Bath. Check. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, cuddles. Check. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but you didn't say who. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Who? Who? Check cuddle you? Check. <laughs> Let's go. I'm there, dude. I'm there. Fuck hotels. Yeah. I'll, I'll stay at a hotel. No. <laughs> no, no problem. Maybe whatever you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we could bring you up. Yeah, no, I would like to come. No, honestly, let's be friends. I would love to do it next year, right? Maybe next summer or something. That'd be yeah. fun, right? I would love to fuck with you guys up there, right? What does that mean? Like, I don't know how the, hang out. Okay, hang out. Yeah, yeah, not, 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 yeah, not penetrate. No, because the hip hop, hip hop thing there, the hip hop thing with the lingo of the hip hop sometimes it's mixed. It, it, it's confusing me. Like I love hip hop and shit. Like yeah, yeah, I fuck with you hard. Sometimes it's a bit excessive. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That means also preach. I'm not hip hop. I'm punk rock. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, but but you know what? They're both the same. Yes. In many ways. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The feelings are the same. Yeah. But I don't know much about you know. I it's all right to tell me what you think. <laughs> I fucking love it. Bobby Lee doing Bobby Lee thing. Yeah, I love stop. it, man. Thank you, dude, for that. Dude, I'm telling you, dude, I'm gonna say something to you, Preach. What's up? What'd I do? Nothing. Uh, I, I can't even look at you right now, bro. <laughs> this is how deep I, I'm going I can't even look at you, bro. Bra bra. I like you a lot, dude. And I, I, I want you to come back. I'll bring your other papa over here with the lips. <laughs> and I can't even, I'm so emotional I can't even say it complete sentences and shit. But um I feel something good going on with, between us and it's gonna be good, man. I love it. We could do it. Yeah, we're gonna do it for real, dude. Let's go. Yeah. It's fucking you know, I shamed about your body. I I like your body, man. <laughs> It's dope. Shit. You said it's, shit. Yeah, yeah. It's I thought really you was good fat. Body. Yeah, most yeah, yeah. You you got everything going for you, man. I love I it. See, <laughs> see, see that sexual full <laughs> circle, full circle. I know. I have to admit. I I, I have to. Admit. That's a callback. I no no. It, I brought it back. He's but clutching his pearls. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm scared. I'm scared of it. That, that, before that, he was clutching. I, his I dick. love. <laughs> yeah, I was clutching my dick before. But anyway, dude, preach. Yeah. Honestly, dude, you're a real fucking star, dude. Oh, thanks a lot. Yeah, give him a round of applause, preach. 
things. Man. Okay, so anything, to anything to promote? Anything to promote? Dates? You want to promote whatever? I don't just go check I Wouldn't Preach. Uh, I Wouldn't Preach on YouTube. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, King Preach the Petty. Yeah, man. Ooh, that's me. Not you got how many followers? You got some followers out there or what? On Instagram? Yeah. Like 29K. Not that much. We're going to get it bigger. Yeah, or on oh. YouTube, yeah, yeah. 1.8 1. 1. 1. 1. million. Double our numbers. Okay, Indeed. all right. We're like, we'll get there too, okay? <laughs> no, you don't have to fucking just threaten me. Just saying preachers? not threatening yeah, yeah. No, they're not, they're not, they're not threatening you. It's just saying I got power too. <laughs> 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 that was great, boy. You're so good. <laughs>